Olsuski with Caldwell Banker and Team Olsuski here with the year end Metafee market update. Wow, not only have we just finished the fourth quarter of 2019 and the end of the year, but we also ended a decade. I've been creating these market reports quarterly, and if you find them useful, please hit the like and subscribe button either below or above, depending upon what media you're on. This is the Menifee Real Estate Market Update. So in this video, I will be providing detailed updates on how the Menifee Real Estate Market ended up the fourth quarter of 2019 and year end overall. I will also give you some insight on what the experts are saying the 2020 real estate market will be looking like. First, I want to review some news updates on the financial outlook for the country overall, as well as here in Southwest Riverside County. This past year, the market sounded the recession alarm. The average financial forecaster was predicting a 33% chance of a recession over the next year. Currently, there's good news. The new recession model is suggesting only a 20% probability. This was the 2020 U.S. outlook recently published by Goldman Sachs. I will touch base more on what is coming later on in the video. So let's get to the Metaphy real estate market and how it ended up the year and how things are going. Overall, it remains steady and is still in a seller's market overall. Not a crazy seller's market like we saw spring of 2018, but still very strong with only 2.1 months of inventory and homes on average selling in about 29 days if priced right. Even though the number of active listings is lower than a year ago, the total number of sales is up year over year. As we head into the first quarter of 2020, we are seeing the usual decline in the, in the number of total active listings as we leave the holiday season and build for prime time for real estate during the spring and summer months. As I had stated previously, if anything, it's a better market to buy and sell, as affordability is good, driven by low interest rates at 3.75% approximately. The lack of inventory with still a lot of buyers looking to take advantage of these low interest rates could mean money for your home if you look to sell now before the spring and summer rush. Let's see how the overall Real estate market looked ending up the fourth quarter of 2019 overall and take a look at this last month year over year. So let's see what the detailed numbers look like here in Menifee. First, we will look at the closed sales in Menifee at the end of December. At the end of December 2019, there were a total of 175 closed sales in the city of Menifee of all price ranges and types of homes. This compares to 122 closed sales at the end of December of 2018, which is a year-over-year -year increase of about 43.4%. The number of sales is above the 2019 numbers, and last year they did not start to pick up until about February. Last year though, they peaked in August with 218 homes sold, and that beat the best month of 2018 with 175 homes sold. All predictions are indicating 2020 should be a good year for selling and buying, especially if the interest rates stay as low as they are predicting. There was no decline in any segment, and the 400 to 700,000 range was up 47.6% year over year. The 700 to 900 and above 900 or ranges were both even with no increase or decline. Next, we will look at the number of active listings. I have a slide on this to show you the decrease in trend in listings overall. As of the end of December, there were 375 active listings in the city of Menifee, which is down from 461 the previous year, decreasing 18.7%. This has been decreasing slightly since June, and all segments decreased with the 900,000 or 
above having the largest decrease at 50% year over year. It is important to understand these numbers. So if you want to sell your home, my recommendation is it has to look great to get your top dollar with the additional competition. We can help with that. And if you go to our new video blog, um, I have a video covering what top five things you can do to get top dollar when you sell. The next important number we will look at is how many months supply of listings do we have here in Menifee? This, along with the number of sales, indicates what type of market we have today. Where are we ending up the fourth quarter of 2019? So are we still in a seller's market or was there a shift? Well, the data as of the end of December shows 2.1 months of inventory overall. Available for buyers, this is down 38.2% overall year over year. With the neutral point being six months, we are definitely still in a seller's marketplace overall. Again, just not a crazy seller's market like we had first and second quarters of 2018, but very competitive for buyers, especially in the lower price ranges. Because of the diverse types of property we have here in Benefit, there is a difference depending upon what price segment you are, what type of home, the location uh, you're interested in. There wasn't too much variation between the segments, but the two bookends and the opposite ends of the spectrum are the under 400,000 with 1.7 month supply, down 41.4% in the 700 to 900,000 segment that has four month supply, giving buyers in this segment more to choose from. The other end of the spectrum is the under 400,000 segment, and that now only has 1.7 month supply, and that has actually decreased 41.4%, still making it an extremely competitive buyer's market. If you have questions about your specific neighborhood or home, please give me a call or send an email, and I can give you specifics for your area in Menifee and your specific home. So our home value is still increasing here in Menifee. Well, the median sales price for December in Menifee overall is $370,000. This compares to the beginning of 2019, where the median sales price was $374,999. This shows about a 0.7 decrease year over year. Again, it is important to know that this combines all types of homes and price points. This overall number has a big dependency, dependency with how many lower priced homes and higher priced homes sell during the time period. The biggest segment increase was the under 400,000 segment increasing over 8.8% year over year. The over 400,000 to 700,000 segment had an increase of 4%, still pretty good. It is different for different areas within Menifee with a large number of brand new homes, estate homes, ranch homes, and older homes. Housing growth will still maintain a 5% growth rate for the next 12 months per Frank Martel, president and CEO of CoreLogic. Even if we should see an economic slowdown, which there's a slim chance could happen in 2020, home values are still predicted to increase in value 2.8%. So just to show you that the market is still strong, here are the numbers pertaining to the percentage of sales price to the original list price. Homes overall in Menifee sold at 98.8% overall, increasing slightly by 1.1%. In general, I'm seeing if a home is not in a great shape, it's going to sell for less or sit on the market. But with the current lack of inventory, there is still a possibility of bidding wars on homes in great shape in a good location. Every home, regardless of the year built, has a completely updated price and a needs work price are somewhere in between. And as an example, the over 700 to 900,000 range only sells at 94.5% of its original list price. The next number to be aware of is the number of days a home stays on the market before selling. For Menifee, at the end of December, that number was 29 days. This number reflects a 14.7% decrease year over year. 
This is the difference between the lower inventory last year and more homes on the market at this point in the year. The last item I wanted to quickly provide an update on is how our mortgage rates are currently looking. Rates have remained steady as of the end of 2019, fluctuating slightly. Recent rates are floating around 3.75% for a 30-year fixed. FHA VA is at 3.375% depending upon the lender. Down slightly again, rates have definitely not increased like the experts were thinking they would this year so far, but they are expected to rise slightly in the first half of 2020. So if you have been thinking about buying your first home or upsizing or downsizing and need a loan, this fall is still a great time to sell and buy before the rates go up. 2019 was the best year for mortgage rates since 2011, so take advantage of this time period. Loan limits have adjusted now for 2020, and for conventional, the loan limit is up to $510,400, and for FHA, it's up to $442,750 for Riverside County. Well, I hope this market update has been helpful, and if you have been thinking about buying or selling or would like more information, please feel free to contact me directly at 951 506-5744 or via email at tom at tamolsuski.com. If you would like to receive future markup, market updates, please click the subscribe button either below or above. There will be a slide at the end of this video regardless on ways to contact us. The bottom line as I see it is it's still a great time to buy and sell with still low interest rates and more inventory to pick from when buying. This is Tom Olsuski with Team Olsuski and Caldwell Banker signing out. Make it a great day.